before I was at Sandhurst, I hadn't initially decided to join the Royal Anglian Regiment, however it was on the cards. Step by step, ended up going to Sandhurst after university and joining the Royal Anglians. The idea of a family regiment and the idea of the infantry in itself, both of those sort of combined to push me towards joining. You can specialise in all sorts of different things, so for example signals and comms or specialist weapons. To be a leader, you just got to rely on the training. Uh, when it comes to leadership, one of the main things is that the men always come first. The training that I've had and the equipment that I've been trained on is certainly second to none. And we've proved ourselves with our professionalism across the world. One of the most challenging parts is physical activity. And you have to constantly push yourself. We've got very strong county links from Essex all the way up to Lincolnshire and everything in between. We have two regular battalions and one reserve battalion. The first battalion is the Vikings, the second battalion is the Poachers and the reserve battalion is the Steel Rats. Being part of the Royal Anglians, every day is different. You're never bored in your job. I've been lucky enough to progress a team uh, for the Infantry Alpine Ski Championships. The Royal Anglians do provide opportunities uh, to conduct adventurous training at all levels. I first started skydiving when I was in Cyprus, now I'm qualified and I spend most of my time at the weekends jumping here as well now. I love the army so I'd love to stay in as, as long as I can. Staying in command of, of soldiers because that's why I, I joined the army. The one thing that gives me a buzz about my job is getting an exercise and soldiering. That's why I joined the army, that's what I love doing and that's what I want to do for as long as possible.